Now to drips. We've done, oh, what have we done? We've done tablets, we've done fluids, and we've done pumps. So this is our first attempt, uh, what we call a drip question. And all that means is um, that yes, it's a similar sort of thing. We've got a volume to uh, be given, in this case, 0.25 litres, uh, and to be given over, or duration rate it says, uh, three hours. But it's using what they call a giving set. Uh, and this one, there are others, but this one delivers at 20 drops uh, per mil. So in other words, uh, if that was a drop, it would take 20 of those to get to one mil. So you can imagine 20 of those dropping uh, to get one mil, or in fact 100 to get a teaspoonful, which is about five mils, isn't it? So uh, this is what we've got to consider. Um, we've got our amount. Now this is 0.25 uh, litres, which you will know is 250 mils. Uh, and if you didn't, you can just rely on the old method of multiplying by a thousand, because there are a thousand mils uh, in a litre, or moving the decimal point three times, once, twice, put a naught, give the decimal point something to jump over, uh, and it lands there, so you've got 250. 250 mils to be given over three hours. Now, we're using a giving set, uh, and that will be dripping at, at this sort of rate, and our answer will be in numbers of drops per minute, or in DPM, drops per minute. So, included in this calculation has to be the rate at which it's delivering, which is 20, uh, and to convert three, uh, three hours, into minutes, uh, we have to uh, multiply by the numbers of minutes in an hour, which I know you know uh, is 60. So, there we have it. The amount, 250, over three hours, our giving set is 20 and our 60 uh, is to convert to drops per minute. Okay, I tend to take one side uh, of the fraction first and make life easier. Uh, you can take off the noughts if you like, which is 2 over 6, or you can just say how many 20s there uh, and how many 20s in 60. Answer 3. So every time you see 20 over 60, uh, it's 1 over 3 or a third. Or every time you see that, you just have to divide this by 3. It comes to the same thing. Now, 3, unfortunately, is an odd number, and we're going to 250, and we're going to 1. So all we can do is multiply the top, which is 250, multiply the bottom, uh, which is 9, and remember the last bit of the calculation is to divide the bottom into the top. So 9 on the outside, to divide into 250, and again I tend to put point naught with a decimal point above so it doesn't run away. Uh, and now we're dividing nines into 250, well nines into two obviously won't go, uh, so we've got nines into 25. Well, three nines are 27, so that's a bit too much, so we're going to have two nines are 18, uh, which gives us something to carry, uh, and that something is Seven. Nines uh, into 70, okay, big numbers. Six nines are 54, seven nines are 63. Well, yes, an eight nine there's too much, so it's got to be seven nines uh, are 63, and we've got seven over again as nine, guess what? We'll go into 70 another seven times, and seven over, and so on, and so on. So now the thing to do here is as this. Uh, figure here, 7, uh, is more than 5, so we've got a figure of 27.7 uh, as, our, as our answer, but we need to round this up. Why? Well, because you can't really have 0.7 of a drip. <laughs> Either something drips or it doesn't drip. You can't have a bit of a drip. So uh, that's 5 or more, so we've got to round that up. Round that up to 28. 28 drops a minute. And that would be our answer. 28 drops per minute. Always a whole number, uh, never bits of drips. And there we are. That's our first 
drip calculation.